What's good? Let's analyze some video game music. This is Abandon Me from Chicory. This was suggested by Queen Snarf in the chat. Let's listen through to this thing. I'll get my vibes first, and then analysis. Let's check this out. Okay. Some slightly changing upward arpeggio. Sounds like the bass is changing, but the top is mostly staying the same. Okay. Now we're getting more of a melody at the top. It sounds very underwater. Okay, we got a pan flute. Seven sharp, seven one, and then it drops. It did like a fake out drop. It put the drums in and then it took them back out for a second and then it started again. Oh, now it's chopping it. I like that those those sound like a vocal sample, like it's chords being made out of a vocal sample. Or like a cut up chord. All these little like cut off. It's just really fast cutoff shifting. You can hear the little bit of the ramp when it does the pew, pew. Speeding up. Okay. This is a fun little synth melody. Here's all the layers building up and coming back. I love that bass. Okay. Now get back to the chord swells and the arpeggio. The arpeggio sounds more natural now. It's no longer that like flat digital sound that it was near the beginning. Somber exit melody over the arpeggio. This has some interesting shit going on. It's it, This is spelling out like a B sus2. So right away we enter in without a distinct major or minor feel. Yeah. And we're sort of just playing around with sevens and other upper intervals of a B.
Then we drop a sixth. And it sounds like the upper part of the chord doesn't change. Right? It's something like that. So we're doing a little bit of wandering up in the in the top arpeggio and playing more of a melody. Yeah, and now we're doing a 1-6. The 6th is just... That's a pattern that I've kind of picked up on over the course of doing this. I would expect the 5 to be... The scale function that gets the most used in any given key, but so many of them operate between hovering between one and six. It still sounds like the bass itself is almost like a funeral march. You know? And there is a little bit of like forebodingness to that, and that seems to be a texture that like everything pulls in, at least at, at some point. B minor. This is just the minor interval that, that makes it a B minor. Climbing up to that, climbing up to the minor interval, the unhappy interval. Yeah. And then we end up on a seventh of our six, right? Which is a G major seven. Yeah, and then as the bass comes in and as everything drops, we, it moves up to the seven, and then just last right during the build, seven, Sharp seven, one. Yeah, and then once we're here, bass and everything is just kind of pedaling on B for a bit. Ah, sometimes it's got to jump to a minor three. That's cool. We've started back in on a melody, and it's also starting on a B, ending on a F sharp for this first phrase. So we're already just still spelling out more B minor. Yeah. This is a two. Right? What, what's interesting about the kicks there is they, they offset the second time they go through their cycle. It throws things off ever so slightly, but that makes that part, uh, it makes that part cooler. So that just sounds like the vocals are like fourths, I think. Voices, like two voices of fourth apart. It's something like that. It's 
still mostly just hovering around notes around this first fifth of the B scale, right? So it basically, you know, it does some B minor keyboard spam up at the top here for the melody. Like, it's mostly doing, it's mostly picking intervals around the chord tones, trilling between them, and then moving up to do that again. And it's still, I think that bass wise, I think it's still doing that 1 6, right? Six. Then seven. And then down to five. Let me go back to one. So when this builds up, what it's building up is like to a, uh, a one, six, seven, five progression. That's the extent of what it builds up to. It doesn't play around too much with crazy chords or crazy intervals. It mostly just has a, a really thick thing doing the bass line behind everything. And the arpeggios and the melodies sort of spell out the chords. There's a few simple things that are happening in this. And it's really well produced. And the blend of sounds and instruments the texture of the track changes over time. Like that is another element of like video game composition that can mean a lot more narratively and environmentally. If the tone of the track changes and builds and, and is altered over time while there's still like a through line between everything. Because the, the, the margins are so much wider in what you can really get away with in video game music, you can go from that soft, twinkly, kind of like mallet and pan flute sound to just really heavy like that. It'll still sound coherent. I do like the execution of this. I think it, it is simple, but it does a lot with its simple elements and it avoids being too cliche. I would give Abandon Me from Chicory, if I had to rate it, I would give it a four. This is another four for today. That's what I'm thinking. That's a four out of five. It's a waxing give us. All right, how do you think I did? If you like the analysis, hit like. If you want to see more stuff like this in the future, hit subscribe and the bell to make sure you see when new videos go up. Let me know what you think. Is, is there anything you think I missed? Let me know in the comments. I would love the feedback. If you want to catch me doing this live without any edits, just figuring things out as I go, you can check out case.dog slash stream and see when I'm live. And if you want to submit a song yourself, you can check out my Discord channel for it at case.dog slash VGM. I'll see you next time.